somebody give thanks? I said, somebody give thanks? From the rising of the sun. Give thanks. Hallelujah. 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 You are watching. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is there anybody here that got something to thank God for giving praise? When I was hungry, yes, sir. Lord, you fed me. Yes, sir. When I was thirsty, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah. So come on. You're watching. A special edition, uh, don't y'all do it. <laughs> I got a feeling something about to happen in here. <laughs> Sandy Rose, I got a feeling if you hang in there and hold out, something real good <laughs> is about to happen to hey! you. Shout yeah! 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 <laughs> Well, welcome the Word Network. I want to thank Mr. Kevin Adele. As you see in the background, it says Bishop Greg Davis. A night of gospel music. I have wanted to do this for some time. Napoleon Hill said there's nothing greater than an idea whose time has come. Wow. And wow. tonight in this season, as we get ready to go into the holiday and give thanks. How many of you know this has been a difficult year for so many people? Yeah. And every now and then, yeah. you ought to stop and just give God thanks. Every day. <laughs> not, not yet. We gonna go there in a minute. <laughs> we going there. Every day is a day. Come on. Of Thanksgiving, I want to welcome you all over the world. 90 million homes in 200 countries. I I alluded to it, but I want you. Thanks, Mr. Kevin Adele, the CEO of Word Network. It's because of him. My co-host tonight, she's no stranger to the Word Network or television. She's making a comeback tonight. <laughs> the lovely Miss Stephanie. Pride, y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Now, now, in uh, my, my best friend is in the choir, Brother Butch, and I'm using him. <laughs> I got to give you a shout out. I got you, Doc, <laughs> holding up the bass. That's my best friend. That, 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 that's him right no there. More. <laughs> Let me tell y'all. His mic don't even be on, he can't even say it. <laughs> <laughs> That's my best friend. And in uh, about, oh, 51 years ago, a little woman by the name of, keep playing softly, Greg, y'all all there, yeah. Uh, um, a, a, a lovely old lady by the name of Lucille Lemon took me to a choir rehearsal at the Central Methodist Church. Wow. And she asked my grandfather, could, could she have me? Because she knows, she know my grandfather didn't play. He wanted to make sure I was protected. <laughs> you know, yeah. yeah. All yeah. right, that's another story. Anyway, um, <laughs> and, and that's when I was exposed to gospel music, over 51 years ago. Wow. No, no, 41 years ago, because the workshop is 51 years. So 41 years ago, I became a part of the Gospel Music Workshop of America. Wow. And it was a man by the name of Mr. Ed Smith. They call him Basic. He had a little flower shop. He ran the GMWA. I know the history. I don't really need I no guests. I love guess. all these old stories. <laughs> he ran the Gospel Music Workshop out of uh -huh. his P.O. box and his flower shop. <laughs> Y'all ain't saying nothing. And if you work for Ed, he paid you with a little envelope that that's supposed to say, uh, you have my sympathy, and it was cash in there. The flower shop, but anyway, it was people like that, the Reverend James Cleveland. Ladies and gentlemen, what you're watching tonight is the Gospel Music Workshop of yes. America. Yes. 70 voices strong tonight. Yes. Some of them mad because they couldn't get in there because they got over 125 <laughs> voices. Yes. Now that's Gospel dedication. Music. Because choir members don't last that long. No. I mean, 51 years? Yeah. That many choir members? Yeah. How do you keep them all together? Yeah, yeah. I used to be a part of this chapter. I directed and all that stuff. Now, and tell, wait, tell, tell them when you started choir directing. I started what choir. Age? Uh, I was, you always give me with these stories. <laughs> I got the wrong co-host. Can I get another one? 
Uh, you was like four. I was about four. <laughs> I was younger than Michael Fletcher. <laughs> <laughs> he was old with but, but I started off when I was a teenager. Had my yeah. little Jerry curl. Mike, <laughs> Mike just got rid of his. <laughs> but we're older now, and I appreciate because it was the Gospel Music Workshop of America mm -hmm. that taught me administration, Ed Smith. Lucille Lemon let me run around the country with her, and my false teeth would fall out on the floor. <laughs> We're telling it all tonight. <laughs> huh? and, and it was people like this, and tonight they're going to share uh, gospel music from yes, Detroit. Yes. What are your the memories? The birthplace. Yes. The, the birthplace. <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about briefly, you come from the praise and worship, but you wasn't always a praise and worshiper because you came out of the Pentecostal I church. I came up in the Pentecostal Have church. Have you tried That's Jesus? That's all we know. We know He's the testimony. You right? tried Jesus. <laughs> He's, He's all right. <laughs> tried Jesus. <laughs> I told you we are going to be organic. Come on. So my, my dad started pastoring uh, 29 years ago. So when my dad started pastoring, I had to be a part of the choir. I hated it. Like, why I got to sing in the choir? And we had a choir director, Wilson James, and he came from the Baptist church. Uh -huh. And he started teaching us all of the Baptist songs. And so he the one who introduced me to all of the choir music that sometimes we kind of get away with now um, in praise and worship says, but it's nothing like nothing choir like music, the choir. especially on the Sunday morning. Morning. Nothing like it. And no matter how much freedom my father gave me with our music department, he said, keep me some choir music on Sunday mornings. He said, you can do all that praise and worship, but I need choir music on Sunday morning. We had to keep that. So, Mama, you need to call everybody to the TV because <laughs> we're about to take a trip. <laughs> and when we come back, we're going to be talking to the chapter rep. She's also the president of the Board of Education, my friend here in Detroit. <laughs> But right now, take, tell us. Oh, y'all, every day is a day of thanksgiving. Come on, put your hands together Come and on. give God praise.
We gonna go. We gonna go. But the song says, "Take some time." What? It says, "Take some time to glorify the Lord today." Right now. Hey. Listen. We want you to know that you can call for prayer, even though this is a time of being thankful. You may, you know, everybody during this time. Keep playing softly. Everybody during this time, uh, they're not thankful because they have so much going on. But there's a number on the screen that's always available to you. Eight five five. 730 word, 855 730 word. First song, Oh Give Thanks. I remember Pulford and Mount Elliott. We remember the Reverend Charles Nix Jr. Anybody from St. James? Amen. And then, of course, the founder of the Gospel Music Workshop of America, whose chapter this comes from, the Reverend James Cleveland. He keeps blessing me. Give God praise for the Reverend James Cleveland. And then, of course, we honor. Bishop Albert Jamison, the chairman of the board today. If you're watching, Bishop, thank God for you. But we have today, uh, she is my friend. I'm not going to say how many years, but for some years. And she is, every state has what they call step, a chapter rep. And she is the chapter rep. Somebody has to lead the ship. Um, as Ed Smith says, she don't beat the drum or play the tambourine. <laughs> you ain't got to. You need somebody to lead. And so she's not only... Um, a, a part of this, but she comes from a great background. She ran DMC, the hospital uh, facility, for years. Now she's the president. See, that's why you gotta be nice to people. Yes. President of the school board of Detroit, y'all. Miss yes. Iris Taylor. <coughs> Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank the vision you. has come to pass. You, you Now, tell me, how long have you been a chapter rep? What does it mean to be a chapter rep? Because somebody may be watching and want to be a part of the gospel music work. What does that mean? Chapter rep is just a person who serves the chapter and facilitates us to being able to achieve what our goals and objectives are. Seeing to it that, um, that members have their needs met as proud as being a member of the workshop. Now, how how you get all these? Because this ain't all of them. How do you get 125 people in this day when the praise and worship yep. scene has been took over to still sing gospel music, yeah. traditional gospel music? Mm -hmm. That's just it. We are a traditional gospel choir, and choir members draw choir members, and we have continued to grow the base. We have what I call the ABCD choir, where people come in and come out, but the AB, the main core choir now is 75 plus. Wow. wow. Right. And we go up as to many as 200. Wow. Now, go ahead. Go. So how often do you all meet and rehearse? We rehearse second Friday of every month. Wow. So still once a month. Once a month. Wow. Now, you have how many CDs? We, our current CD that's out now, uh, bringing it back home, mm -hmm. is celebrated our 50th anniversary. <laughs> I don't know what y'all doing at 92.3, but they playing it every Sunday, two or three songs. <laughs> so you do also have Detroit Remembers, and that's what we're, we're enjoying now, the legacy of Detroit. The Reverend Charles Nix, uh, uh, of course, uh, Alfred Bogan, and all named that Lucille Lemon, and the Reverend Charles Ashley Craig, and Hula Jean Hurley, and all those greats that folk want to be like, you know, from Detroit. So we have volume one. Mm-hmm. Detroit remembers, and then we went back and did a volume two because we have such a strong legacy in the city of Detroit that we continue to honor our legacy. And you can get, come on, yeah, give it up. You can get these CDs. We're gonna offer them to you on tonight, but we're gonna keep singing, and we, we're gonna we're gonna keep going right now. GMWA, I'm sending it over to what am I, Pastor Dana? Take it away. I'm sorry. Bishop Davis, we have the Gospel Music Workshop of America, Detroit chapter, coming back singing, Never Alone. Amen. Come on, give God praise, everybody.
promised never. No matter what you're going through, in this season, he promised never. Shall you? Never alone. You rocking like old church oh, mother. Like old, I, I don't see how you can listen to this kind of music and not feel God. Yeah, yeah. Never alone. Give the choir, quite give yourselves a hand, everybody. I mean, how in the world do y'all get through choir rehearsal? I wonder what those choir rehearsals got to feel like. Is this like choir rehearsal? Oh, yes. We praise the Lord through oh. the entire, every choir rehearsal. <laughs> Now, if somebody wants to be a part of the choir, how do they get in touch with you, or who do they get in touch with? Where do they go to become a part of the choir? We have a website, gmwadetroit.org, that they can go on the website. We rehearse the second Friday of every month at Craig Memorial Tabernacle, 4201, uh, not 4201. 14201. They'll put it on the screen, though, yeah. Help me out. <laughs> You're okay. So, so, so it's open to anybody. Anybody that got a gift can see. I mean, do they yes. have to audition? No. How how have you maintained such a rich quality over the years? I'm sure it had to be times where uh, they wanted to get a little contemporary. But how did you all maintain this sound for 51 years? But this choir is very innovative. It has the ability to be contemporary as well as to be traditional. We have gifted musicians. Our musicians can play any genre that there's out there. Yes, yes. yes. So, um, so I see some younger people in the choir, just speckled here and there. So how, how, how do you plan on maintaining this legacy? Well, we have a plan to do some succession planning. So we're planning to plan, but we're not there yet. Okay, yeah. okay, that's on the way. All that's right. on the way. That was good. That was good. Point. But as, as we look at, even at the National Meeting Gospels Workshop of America, we see that young people are coming and it, it will never die. And it's a good thing yeah. that you even have a plan. Yeah, we gotta maintain this. L let, me, let me say this, this music is available and it'll be up on the screen. Right now they're singing from Detroit Remembers. And I requested that they do this because there are so many greats that came out of, out of Detroit. The song you just heard, um, Miss Sheila Jean Hurley Duncan was the leader of that, and that young man, uh, he, 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 he got the anointing <laughs> on it like Sheila Jean. Uh -huh. uh, but you can get all this music, you can go to their website, and we're gonna offer you um, some bundles that you can go and buy good gospel music. Don't uh, just record it, yeah. buy, buy it. Buy, buy, buy. You know, the, the, buy it. Yeah. There was a great man by the name of Thomas Whitfield. Yeah. Now, I know Thomas Whitfield. Not, 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 not your name. <laughs> right. But imagine back then, Thomas Whitfield, and we're going to talk to Michael Fletcher a little later because he was a part of the Whitfield Company and some others. But imagine back then, Tommy was ahead of his time. Absolutely. You'd go, you go to them musicals. You know, everybody knows Thomas Whitfield across the country. You go to those musicals, and he had us talking about, say hallelujah, <laughs> lift your hand. We're like, yeah, yeah. what? Do what? No, we all he know is this. <laughs> no, lift your hands, speaking y'all. And Tommy, Tommy, he was innovative. He went to Bethesda Church and he went to catechism and learned about speaking in tongue and learned about the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And he brought it into the mainstream Baptist church. And we would go there. We didn't know we'd say, okay, Tommy said, lift our hands. We're gonna lift our hands. <laughs> and now everybody. Mm -hmm. Amen. Is lifted and it was so hard to duplicate that sound though. He was doing different harmony parts and different arrangements that we we couldn't do. That was outside yeah. of our regular three-part harmony. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And now everybody do woo woo. Yeah, yeah. But it's because of the maestro. And tonight, <laughs> <laughs> tonight we remember Minister Thomas Whitfield. He saved my soul. Give God praise, everybody.
everybody. Come on, give God praise. Anybody say? Eight five five. 730-WORD, 855-730-WORD is the number to call if you need prayer. We are having a special Greg Davis Live. Hallelujah. Good old gospel music. It's a time of Thanksgiving. Gospel music is still alive. If you ever sung the song, I have a message from the Lord, and it's only that you look and live. Yes. And we've sung that over and over again. This young man, give God praise for the maestro, Michael Fletcher. I used to try to direct like him and all that. He is anointed. He's been at one church for how long as, as director? 36 second, years. Second. They don't do that anymore. As you was directing that, and you're, you're, you're being seen by the world now, like 90 million homes, 200 countries, we've reached the World Network. Amen. Amen. To sing your mentor's music, and we remember him tonight, what reflections do you have and what the Lord has done even with your career? Well, I thank God for Minister Thomas Anthony Whitfield. I met him when I was 16 years old at Northwestern High School. And... Uh, when I turned 17, he informed me that he was getting ready to start a group, an aggregation, and asked me if I wanted to be a part. And without hesitation, without even thought, I said, Thomas Anthony Whitfield, I would gladly like to be a part of the Whitfield Company. <laughs> and since that time, that's been 41 years ago. Wow. I stuck and I stayed. Even after his demise 26 years ago, we stayed together. It's been 26 years. It's been 26 years. Oh my years. God, I remember like, wow. Yes. But the Lord God has brought us from a mighty long way. I thank God he actually helped me to get my ministry after I started the corral back in 1982. Our first CD or album that we did was 1987. And um, Jesus, he's the one. And we did a song together there called Jesus is Still Passing Out Blessings. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, you know, I love singing a uh, duet with my founder. We did on our first album, the company's first album, we did a duet called He's Coming Back Again. Yeah. He'll return for me just like he said he would. Yes, sir. And uh, all those songs are just classics. Now. He said he didn't want to yeah. talk on TV, y'all. But... <laughs> all yes, those songs listen. are classics, but I thank God for him being a part of my life. And I thank God for the corral, for the company, for the workshop, for Second Ebenezer. I got four dynamite aggregations. And thank the God Gospel Music them. Workshop is made up of churches all, all over, over Detroit and the Metroplex. Yeah. And they come from various denominations. Who said we can't sing together? Amen. Some are Baptist, some are Pentecostal, right. some are Methodist. Church of God in Christ. Church of God in Christ. We, we got to get that in there because Robin yes. in there. You got Church of God in Christ in there. <laughs> but listen, at the end of the day, when we get to heaven, it's all going to be like this. That's right. And for somebody that's watching right now, yes. I need you to know that the storm is passing over. The storm over. is passing over. Oh, yeah. We remember tonight, Donovell and yes. the Donovell Corlys. Take us home.
855-730-WORD is the number to call, 855-730-WORD. If you're in need of prayer, you're watching a special edition of Greg Davis Live, gospel music. I love gospel music. There's nothing. Let me tell you something. Yes. I love preaching. And again, I thank God for Mr. Kevin Adele and yes. the staff that allows us to do this. Amen. We preach. You see, preaching 24-7. But in this season, as we go into the holiday, we want to give thanks unto God. 855-730-WORD. If you need prayer, if you need encouragement from the Word of God. At the end of the program, we're going to tell you how you can support the Word Network because we never come together unless we ask you to support. We don't have commercials. It is your right. gifts and love gifts that make this happen today. Amen. So if you're not partnering Amen. with the Word Network, this is what your partnership gets. Amen. 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 Sandy Rose! Bishop Day! One of the best in the business. God bless you. I, 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 uh, I, see, I see nephew Larry, uh, you know, that's my son. He over there watching y'all, you know. The young fellas watching the pros tonight. But uh, Larry Callahan, everybody, give God praise. Amen. 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 That was Donald Vale. That was. That but was. before Donald Vale, there was a 104 in Elliot. Yes, it was. And it was, we, we called it PT. That's what we called it. And uh, they say when you get, went to shouting and the miracles went to fall and the towels in the church went to fall. They went to fall in on you too. That was the days in Detroit and around the country when Sunday night service. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Talk about it. Oh, yes. The we Craigs. Would, we would have Sunday night service, Bishop, every Sunday. And you know, you yeah. would come you Yeah, would come I sneak by. back my grandfather and where I met. Go ahead. Yeah, right, right. And we would be in church all night long. Yeah. 11 o'clock, midnight, we would still be in church. My grandmother would say, there's no way possible that you could be in church. And I'm like, I, for real. <laughs> I, I, I was there for I'm real. I'm actually in here shouting. <laughs> yeah. When you think about Charles Ashley Craig, oh, the first, uh, Reverend Charles Craig, um, and uh, Lindsey Craig, yes. and the legacy that's still going on the Craig Memorial, yes. uh, the Craig Brothers, yes. part of the workshop, yes. the legacy, the, some people here from there. Talk about that just for a moment. Well, the Craig Brothers, I, I grew up at the church. I became a member of uh, Prayer Tabernacle when I was six years old. So. Every choir rehearsal they had, my mother was very active in the church and every choir rehearsal they had, I was sitting in the pew listening. We couldn't play, we didn't have video games. We didn't have a lot of things. And what we, what we did was we listened to what was going on. And when they said yes to the Lord, we said yes to the Lord. And we didn't know that that yes to the Lord was gonna change our life. Yeah. But I'm glad today that it changed our life. Saying yes to the Lord. Well, Amen. we gonna take you down to 104 and Elliot, and I guarantee you, we're getting ready to have church right through here. Anybody ready to go down by the riverside? Put your hands together, Sandy Rose.
told y'all, I'm mean, y'all know me. But then on there was another little song. J E S U S. No, Jesus, Jesus.
for you. Don't say nothing. But if God's been good to y'all this year, give him 30 seconds. Gospel Music Workshop of America, everybody. Detroit chapter, give yourselves a hand. If I were you today, if I were you today under this anointing, let me hear you, Tony. Hallelujah. You got to know when to step in the water. Yes, sir. The Lord led me, and I, I know, I know we're going to push that product. But those of you that are watching right now, God's been good to you this year. I want you to go to the phone right now and I want you to sow a seed to the Word Network. Not because of the Word Network, but because there's an anointing in this room right now. Yes. Yes. I want to send you, I want to send you, I want to send you a bottle of oil. Lord, Lord deals with me with oil. I want to send you a bottle of oil. Everybody that will call right now, 855-730-WORD. It's the time of Thanksgiving, 855-730-WORD. I want you to sow a seed of $40. Those of you today in this Thanksgiving season, tell the operator, say, I want to sow. I want to give God thanks. I'm not asking him for nothing. How many realize ha! that thank you makes room Come for on. more? <laughs> and today I want you, I want a hundred of you today. If you say, Bishop Davis, I need God to do something by Christmas time. I need God to turn some stuff around by Christmas. At the end of the program, Prophet Adele is going to come. He's going to pray for you because I, I, want, I want to make sure that this is more than just singing. I want to yes, make sir. sure that those of you that are watching, whatever you're going through, whatever you're going through, God can do it for you. Clap your hands. Get to the phone. 855. I want to send you a bottle of oil during this holiday season. And we believe in God by the time Christmas ah. comes, every need will be met. Yes, I Lord. prophesy. Hallelujah. I prophesy in the studio. Every need yes, will be met. GMWA is what we call it, gospel. I'm, I got my thing all messed up. God, <laughs> I'm all messed up. Gospel Music Workshop of America is what you're enjoying, and we're almost there. But they are more than just singing. There's a men's department. There's a, there's a ladies' de women's department. Romeo uh, Travix and uh, Romel. Romel, Romel, right? Romel and Re I'm caught up. I'm sorry. And Regina Gambrell-Smith, welcome. Give God praise. The men and women's division. <laughs> See, here's the misnomer about the Gospel Music Workshop. They think you just come there and sing. There are classes that go on during the daytime. There are classes that go on uh, and people ha get degrees and all that. But then there's a men and women's department that give scholarships and record. Some of the greatest songs that we've ever sung came out of the women's division and the men's division. So talk about it briefly, the women. The women for the Detroit chapter yes. of the Gospel Music Workshop. Yes. We come together uh, yearly about 75 to 100 women. Wow. And we come together to lift up the name of Jesus as well as blessing others. We bless others and we take that time to bless and lift each other up. Um, and we also go out at Christmas time to minister to um, the elderly in the nursing home. We lead that charge. And we also have a, a partnership with a Mercy Educational Project in Southwest Detroit. Right. Last year, the, co the choir as a whole gave out 100, we gifted 125 new hat, scarves, and gloves to their young girls and women. Amen. And we're partnering, amen. 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 And we're partnering with them again this year. So we do more than just sing. We just, we, we back our singing up with what we do. Amen. And it's a lot, you know, women are strong. Yes. Amen, amen somebody. If you want something done, if give it to a woman. Amen. Well, 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 well. <laughs> what you got to say about that? <laughs> Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise him more and more time. But I just want to say that on behalf of the men of the Gospel Music Workshop of Detroit and their chapter, that we're so excited about the things that the men are doing. We just completed our first annual concert, All Men in Concert, where we sung gospel music, and we lifted up God, and we praised God in that concert. And I'm so thankful for the men that's here on today, as well as the ones that weren't able to make it. Not only do we sing gospel music, uh, but what Sister 
Regina didn't say during Christmas time last year, the men also oh, host for the women the Christmas dinner. And Lord behold, it was a sir. good time that they've <laughs> asked us to do it again. Yeah, so the men are on God. the move for God in terms of the gospel music workshop. And I had an opportunity to go to the convocation or the convention uh, in Atlanta, where I met some of the announcers uh, across the country. And part of what they're doing across the country, not only in gospel music Detroit, but just meeting the people across the country and the men, they're called the men of promise. Uh, just meeting those young men was truly, truly tremendous and a true blessing to me and my soul. If you'd like to be a part of the men's division and or women's division, you can call the number on the screen. Their number is 888-604-6289 or you can go to the P.O. Box and get more information or the website. It's on the screen right now. We're going to have more music now. Pastor Dana, what's up next? Bishop, the choir is coming back singing, Lord, help me to hold out. Oh, hey. 
You're dialing 855-730-WORD. 855-730-WORD is the number to call. I'm asking you for a Thanksgiving seed as we go into this season. Those of you that would, I want you to anoint yourself. I want you to believe God until the holiday season is over with because there's a new year coming. Amen? Yeah. But you got to thank God for where you are. So I want to send you a bottle of the oil, the healing and uh, deliverance miracle oil. I want to send it to you to your home. So I need you to sow a seed of $40 tonight as we're singing. There's no commercials, but the Lord led me. I didn't even, I wasn't even going to say that, but as the anointing fell in this house, God's going to do some great things. Yes, sir. Give God praise again for our chapter rep, school board president. Who you got with you? We have with us Pastor Jeffrey Richardson. <laughs> Jeffrey is not only a member, but he's also a songwriter. And on a new CD, he has two songs. All right. So tell us a little bit about this new record. You say bringing it home. So tell us about the new, the songs that you have on this record. Yes, well, there was a, a process where, whereby it was a blind uh, process where they did not know who ex exactly who was submitting the songs. And so when they said, we want um, songwriters to submit songs, I said, well, I don't know what they're looking for, fast, slow, or whatever. So I submitted three songs and they, I figured maybe one would be picked. Yeah. And um, uh, they picked two. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I know it was a blind test because <laughs> had they known it was the same writer, they may not have picked both of them. But I was thrilled and honored uh, to be a part of this. Um, my wife and I moved to the Detroit area about six years ago, and so we were looking to find our tribe of people that we could uh, attach ourselves to. We found you our didn't tribe. Found you didn't found and, home. Uh, <laughs> we found a home right here, and so we're so excited about this, this project. So tell me about these types of songs because it's something different about gospel music you know we listen to these songs here tonight and it just stirs up something in your spirit songs of testimony songs of deliverance and, and songs that kind of command you to praise God no matter what the situation tell us a little bit about your songwriting and what makes it worthy to be on this record um, I really do believe that when they went through this process they were looking to to, to have a mix of not just the old, but some of the contemporary, but what was not missed mm -hmm. uh, was the message. Yeah, okay. And, and I really do believe that it is the message of these songs mm -hmm. that, that, that will be timeless. Mm -hmm. I really do believe the, the, the gospel is not the gospel without the gospel. Come on. Come so on. you can't sing gospel music without the gospel. Yes, so sir. I believe that is exactly what they, they kept the essence of making sure the gospel was in every last one of these songs. Amen. Now, I want to say to you all, they've come and they're singing, you know, as I say all the time, nobody pays, uh, we don't pay anybody to come here. They're here on their own, and they've, they come from work just to sing gospel music yeah. for you. I want you to support the chapter. As you heard, they're doing so many great things. They're, they're not just singing. They're reaching out to the community. You heard the first two, Detroit Remembers uh, 1 and 2. You can go get those. Uh, the information is on the screen for donation uh, of $20. We don't sell anything on the Word Network. Everything's donation. You can give a donation, and information's on the screen for um Detroit remembers. Those are the old songs you just sung. We're going to hear a couple of songs now from Bringing It Back Home, yeah. which my brother wrote some songs. <laughs> we had about 15 songs prepared. We ain't going to get to all of them tonight, but we got more than we needed because I knew God was going to come because I know God. Amen? Yeah. And then you can get the 50th anniversary commemorative. Now, there are three different bundles. For $20, you can get either one of the CDs each, or you can get the bundle of the book and Bringing It Back Home for a seed of $50. Their information is on the screen. It looks wonderful. 50 years, those of you that are gospel music enthusiasts. Yeah. <laughs> they still got records everything. and right, everything. still got records. Yeah. And records Tapes back in. And tapes. I, I, somebody buy me a for Christmas. I need me a new record player. I want a record player. It's like, try Amazon. Yeah, they try. <laughs> Listen, I want you to go to their website. However, Mama sent it in to the P.O. Box. All that information is on the screen. Support gospel music. Amen. Support gospel music. I want to thank God for the Word Network, and I know we don't usually mention them, but uh, Mr. Sheffield, Dave Sheffield, and 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 I know they're gonna get me because we, we ain't supposed to do it, but <laughs> Jeff and all of the staff, thank you so much for making a dream. Keisha, all of y'all, Ray, everybody, Lottie Daddy, the sound, everybody, for making a dream come to pass. I wanted to do this. I saw Bill Gaither and the, and the other folk 
sing along. And I said, I got that dream. And years later, here we are. Thank you, yes, workshop. Yes, yes. Thank you, Iris. You might have started something. This feel like the beginning something. of something. It feel like the beginning yes. of something. And thank you, even though you didn't know half the songs. <laughs> I said, you know that song? I never heard it in never my life. Never heard of it. <laughs> I don't know what it's like. I knew when to right. shout, though. You knew when to shout. To That's shout. one thing about gospel music, whether it's praise or worship. Come on. Away, you know when to shout. I knew when to shout. All right. Pastor Dana, I love you. She, of course, helps me. Pastor, take us away. What's next? Bishop, the choir is coming, singing the way it is. <coughs> There's grateful hearts in the building tonight. If God has made a way for you, opened up a door. If you can look back over your life and see where he made a way, can you give him some praise? There's no more condemnation. But cause for true celebration.
855-730-WORD. 855-730-WORD. Steph, let's stand. Come on, Prophet. Let's give him a mic. 855-730-WORD is the number to call. You've been watching a night of gospel music, and we wouldn't dare come together and not pray for you. We're going to have them close out with one last song. And, and I want to give them enough time to do this because it's one of my favorites on the new one. Amen. But I want Prophet Adele to pray for you. I want you to sow a seed. 855-730-WORD or $40. 855-730-WORD is the number to call. There's a story I want him to tell quickly. For, he got he to sum it up. The devil almost took his life, but he's still giving God thanks today. Amen. Prophet Adele, share with us and just lead the people in prayer. Hey Amen. I was uh, in revival in uh, Miami, Florida, and I just got a revival. A woman had been healed of cancer, and I was on the freeway headed back to my hotel. And before I knew it, a woman got in front of me and slammed on her brakes. And I saw my life flash before my very eyes, but I heard the voice of God speak to me. And he said, disaster wanted to kill you, but destiny wouldn't let you die. I don't know who I'm talking to out there in TV land, but I want to tell you, that the enemy have tried it, but he failed again. We have a lot to be thankful for. And as the Lord began to speak to me, he took me to Psalms 91, verse number 11, where it says, he shall give his angels charge over thee. I want to challenge every believer to trust God with a seed of $91.11 as a sign that God has some angels working on your behalf behind the scenes. Pray for us. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you for the anointing, God, that have met us here in this studio. God, we pray for every believer under the frequency of my voice. God, we pray in the name of Jesus that there is a supernatural spirit of thanksgiving, God, that you shall give us something to be thankful for within the course of the next 72 hours. And God, we promise that if you do it, that we shall give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. In in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I, 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 I want you to understand that during this season, this is a season where people are depressed. This is a season where people don't know where they're going to get the next dime. I, want, I don't want you to miss what he just said. Yeah. Again, God will give you what? Give his angels charge. charge. I believe he's going to give his, oh, during this season, all the way to 2019, all around. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I speak it right now. I speak it right now. Protection. Psalms 93. And what? 91 and 11. I want you to do that. If you can sow that today, asking God for protection. Steph, thank you so much for sharing. It's my honor. I think this next song that they're going to close out with. It's so admirable for this season. All is well. Take us home, y'all. Yeah.